of the support of Umundo to federal constituency. I am from Abia State. Mr. Speaker, the, um, my colleagues that have spoken before have touched all the issues concerning security challenge. Though this one is centered on Zamfara, but I want us to look at it holistically it's about Nigeria. Once it's happening in Zamfara, it's affecting Abia State. Because I know that some of my people are living in Zamfara. And once it's touching Zamfara, it's also affecting Sokoto, it's affecting Akwaibom. It's about all of us. It's about Nigeria. And then I have some questions to ask. What has happened to our values? We can't tackle the issue of insecurity if we do not look at ourselves in what? Because I know that in African traditional society that they know themselves. They know the people who are visitors. They know the people who are transiting. They know the people th they're treading. Now, every day people are being kidnapped. Every day people are being killed. Every day people are being, uh, uh, properties are being destroyed. And the question is, who are these people? Who are the perpetrators of this crime? Is it our youth? Are they indigents? Of course, you know, last time they said, oh, Libyans have taken over our country. If it means us building our own walls across our borders, because we have found out that our borders are porous, we can appropriate to build walls. It could be walls, Nigerian walls, not the Mexican walls or Libyan walls that at least we secure our territory. Apart from that, what is the role of traditional rulers in our villages, in our communities, and in our towns? And it has gotten worse that even the traditional rulers are being kidnapped, are being killed. Before, if a criminal, common criminal in, in a place, see a traditional ruler, they will run away. Now they dare you, they come in, even if you, in short, they're even kidnapping police officers, they are kidnapping military men. So the thing has gone to, to a level where it's not, we are not supposed to treat it as something that is normal. This one is unusual. And so having said that, how do people get access to guns? My colleague that spoke before me said that these people have gadgets, weapons, that are more sophisticated than the ones that our military and our police men use. So the question is, where are they getting those guns from? And what is, what is government doing? How do people access guns? Who gives license to the guns that people are using? And I know that as we speak today, if you want to travel and you apply for police security, if you want maybe two or three, they will tell you they have two guns, which means that security agencies do not have enough guns, but the criminals have more guns. So who, where are they getting these guns from? What is the, uh, what is the security agencies doing at this particular point. And that brings me back to the values. When society begins to have values on their eyes on how much money anybody brings, that will breed a, breed a lot of things. I know that when I was growing up, if you bring a brand new car, my grandmother would ask us not to go there because they don't know the source of that young man that is bringing this brand new car. They will lock us up. But today, if you go home and you need not bring a brand new car, the people will say you're a lunatic, you don't know what you're doing in Abuja. If you do not steal so much money, they will think that you don't have brain. So our values have gone down so much. We should go back to basics. We should go back to the things that we know ourselves of. In Afri African traditional uh, uh, society, if somebody steals, they will catch you, they will take you around the uh, market, so I'm saying that we should advocate for these norms that we are known for. If we do it now, uh, civil society will say, oh, uh, human rights. What are the human rights of the people that are being killed every day? So we should go back to basics. We should do the things that we are known for. We are Africans. We should do our laws that will suit us. We should stop copying others because what is working in America can no more work here. Let us call our institutions to order, the religious bodies, 
the traditional institution. Fathers and mothers, where are your children? Everybody's like, oh, my, my son goes, wants to do this, my daughter wants to do this. We should go back to basic. As members, where are our kids? What are they doing? What are they taking? What time do they come home? Traditional rulers, why are you people giving chieftaincy to all the armed robbers on earth? Somebody steals so much money, then you give him the highest traditional title in the society. So somebody who is growing up will go and try to do what that person has done, no matter how bad it is. So because I do not want to take more time on this, but because the, thing, the issues are very enormous, I plead that we should go back to basic, that even as I, I'm adopting the, um, the, the prayers of the motion as amended, the truth of the matter is that we are Africans, we are Nigerians. We should do what we have been doing that had worked in the past, that made us to be sleeping with eyes, our eyes closed. Now nobody sleeps with eyes closed. We are raising skyscrapers around our compound because we are not sure. People are being killed, even when they employ house health and all that. So security has gone down to the level that it is a matter of emergency situation. So, Mr. Speaker, Honorable Colleagues, I think that the best thing to do is for us to look backward and then begin to do the things. And I, and I know that in the Eta Assembly, there are a lot of recommendations that we have done. What has happened to those recommendations? We should go back to our books, because I advocated that when, even when we were rounding up in the Eta Assembly, I said we should do handover notes so that the people that are taking over committees should look at what we have done so that they don't keep repeating those things. So, I call for, for us to be sober at this particular time to do the things that we have to do unusually. Not this one that, okay, people are talking about human rights and all that, and yet people are being killed everywhere and nothing is, uh, is happening. So, Mr. Speaker, I submit that uh, this motion is very apt. It's the Ninth Assembly have to do everything possible and call our traditional rulers uh, into order and then religious bodies and then homes, families, uh, our wives and our husbands, everybody should uh, put their heads and their hands together to make sure that we have a safe uh, society.